So this question starts off by providing us with a function. It goes on to say, in the given quadratic function, a and c are constants. The graph of y equals f of x in the xy plane is a parabola that opens upward. Okay, so that's the first bit of information. It's a parabola that opens upward and has a vertex at the point hk. We always know that. Where h and k are constants, we always know that. K is less than zero, so that's another bit of identifying information that tells us that the y value, right, this k value of the vertex is actually negative since it's less than zero. So we're starting, if I were to graph this, that means, although we don't know anything about h, that means our vertex has to be either in quadrant 3 or 4, right? That's the only way we'd have a k down here that is less than 0 for our vertex. The next thing that we're told is that f of negative 9 is equal to f of 3, all right? So just visualizing that, negative 9 and 3 somehow either here and here, maybe along the parabola, or up there and there. Somehow, you know, the parabola, due to, like, due to symmetry, would have the same y value at those two x values, at negative 9 and positive 3, which fits well for a parabola, makes complete sense. And the question goes on to say, which of the following must be true? So anytime I see the word must be true, I'm very wary of making sure I don't conflate that with could be, right? I don't make the mistake of thinking, oh, well, this could be true. I have to really do some due diligence there and make sure it has to be true, like it must be true. So given what I know about this parabola so far, that if opens upward, that the y value of the vertex is negative, and that we have this symmetrical points between negative 9 and positive 3, Let's see what we're being provided with. So the first option here for what must be true is that C is less than zero. Well, what is C? C is actually the y-intercept. The y-intercept, remember, is what you find for y when x is equal to zero. So we can see if x were zero, that would go to zero, this would go to zero, and we just have C left over. So option one is saying that C has to be like a negative number, has to be down below the x-axis. Is that true? I don't know. I don't think so, right? Obviously, it could be true. But what would be wrong with C being a positive number? What's wrong with C being up here? Couldn't everything else about this parabola still be true if C were positive? Yeah, I could still have a y value or a k value that's negative. I could still have uh, f of negative 9 equaling f of positive 3. Right? There's nothing else that would change. So I don't like um, option one. Option two, A has to be greater than or equal to one. And notice how I'm using the word has to be. I'm reminding myself basically of this meaning of the words must be. So is it true that A has to be greater than or equal to one? Well, what does A do? A basically determines a couple of things. It determines the sign of it, positive or negative, determines whether you the parabola faces up or down, right? So if it's positive, it faces up. If it's negative, it faces down. So, you know, we do know that A definitely is greater than zero because we're told that it faces up. Um, but greater than or equal to one? I don't know. Um, so we know it faces up, but why couldn't it be, why can't it be between zero and one? Right? Why can't A equal one half, for instance? Is there any reason why it couldn't? Not at all, right? Because the other reason, the other purpose of A is not just up and down for its sign, but it also has to do with its width, how wide or narrow the parabola is. So we could have a very narrow parabola or a wide parabola. Um, I don't see anything wrong with having a fraction for A. So for that reason, I'm also going to cross out two, which means that only choice D makes any sense. It's neither one nor two. That has to be. I think both of these, by the way, could be. It could very well be that C is less than zero. It could very well be that A is greater than or equal to one. I just don't think they have to be true at all. So that's why I choose D.